is a virus that I'll live with for the rest of my life. It's, um, it's kind of a partner in my life. Um, sometimes an unwanted partner, but it's one that it's like a body part. You know, it's, it's part of me now. And, um, it's like my foot, you know, it might ache sometimes, but I'm not going to cut it off, you know? <laughs> and, um, I mean, I would definitely get rid of HIV if I could, but it's not possible at this time. So I've learned to, um, love it in a way that I can move forward. It's a fact. It's there. It's not much more than that. Um, I've had good friends from my coming out that have been positive. Uh, friends that technically had AIDS, even though that term hasn't come to mean a hell of a lot anymore. Um, typically had safe sex and so I didn't live a very risky lifestyle and so I was very upset and angry um, at myself and the world when I had when I found out I had HIV and um, but then there's a point when I realized that living with that anger is not going to help me the HIV was was kind of controlling my immune system and I need to do everything in my life to help my immune system build back up. And um, so in anger and stress doesn't help your immune system, it hurts it. So it's just, it's one little characteristic in that makes up some gay men. I mean, the characteristic is either positive or not positive and it's kind of like the same amount of information as uh, eye color and where you grew up and how you grew up and it's one facet. So I just learned mostly through meditation just to relax and get a sense of peace inside and, um, and realize that HIV was part of me now and I needed to learn to love it and live with it. And laugh at it often, you know, <laughs> just be a partner with it. Just, just realize that it's just, it's a part of who I am. It's a small part of who I am. It doesn't consume me. It doesn't take over me.